Hello students, come to the next lecture, normal distribution. So what is mean by the normal distribution? A random variable x is said to have a normal distribution. If its density function or probability is given by f of x comma nu comma sigma, it is equal to 1 by sigma into under root of 2 pi into e to the power minus of x minus nu whole square by 2 sigma square where x and nu is taking the values minus infinity to plus infinity and sigma is greater than 0. See when x values are between minus infinity to plus infinity then normal distribution is defined by 1 by sigma into under root of 2 pi into e to the power of minus of x minus nu whole square by 2 into sigma square okay right i think you may remember in the binomial distribution it is existed when x values are non negative integers i mean the values of x are 0 comma 1 comma so on and Poison distribution also it is existing at x values are greater than or equal to 0. It is nothing but when x values are positive, binomial distribution and poison distribution will be existed. When x values are taking from minus infinity to plus infinity, normal distribution will be existed. Okay, so this is the definition of normal distribution. So now we'll go to the first question of normal distribution and before going to the uh, first question let me see uh, some of uh, working rule for this normal distribution how to solve it right see how to find probability density of normal curve the probability that the normal variate x with mean nu and standard deviation sigma lies between two specific values x1 and x2 with x1 less than or equal to x2 can be obtained using area under the standard normal curve as follows so this is these are the working rule these are the steps is involved in the normal distribution problem okay here what is the first step perform the changes of scale z equal to x minus nu by sigma and find z1 and z2 corresponding to the values of x1 and x2 respectively. This is the, our first step. Now, second step to find a probability p of x1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2, it is equal to p of z1 less than or equal to z less than or equal to z2. And here when I am converting x values to z values, I make it the z values positives or negatives. Yes or no? Right. That is the case one now. If both z1 and z2 are positive or both z1 and z2 are negative, then how to find a solution is given you here. P of x1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2 and it implies more or less of area of z2 minus area of z1. Okay, for example, here I am taking the value of z1 is equal to 1 and taking the value of z2 it is equal to 2. For example, I am taking okay and both are positive values I am considering. Then so from, from a point 0 to here let us treat the area or distance is 1. Uh, it is nothing but z1 equal to 1. And from point 0 to z2 okay the distance from 0 to z2 is 2 so that is the value of z2 so how can I find an area here from area 0 to z2 I am eliminating area from 0 to z1 then I will get the area of this one the shaded region area will get it okay so to finding the shaded region area what is the formula area of z2 minus area of z1 is my formula okay 
I hope everyone is clear uh, how we are written this formula area of z2 minus area of z1 okay right for example <coughs> z1 having minus 2 and z2 is having minus 3 then where will be the value of z2 which will be so let us say z1 is here okay and which of value is minus 2 and z2 is minus 3 so maybe which 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 let, let us consider z2 is here and which of value minus 3 okay so this closure region length we had to find it okay this closure region length we had to find it so to finding this closure region length what i'm doing here from a point 0 to z2 i'm eliminating 0 to z1 this area then i will get this actual area whatever you want i hope everyone is clear how i'm finding uh, this area this closure region area yes and here uh, in this concept <coughs> we can say this this is a positive direction and this is a negative direction and we can also say that this entire area probability is 1 okay if this entire area probability is 1 then what will be the probability of this of area tell me it will be 0 0.5 and what will be the probability of this of area of area tell me so this is also 0 0.5 okay then the combination of these two entire normal distribution bell curve probability which of probability is 1 okay so this is the area and this is the way we are finding the result of the given normal distribution in whenever x1 and x2 are given in the question right suppose uh, case 2 z1 is less than 0 z2 greater than 0 okay z1 less than 0 so let us say minus 1 z1 value so the area become here z2 let us say 1 plus 1 so area is here i mean the point is here then this is the closure region so my aim is to finding this closure region length okay right so similarly 2b step number 2b to find p of z greater than z1 which is nothing but only one x value is given to you in the question then that x value we are converting into z variable am i correct yes so after con after getting the value of z whether the z value positive or z value negative yes or no either which may be positive or which may be negative if it is positive then we have to use this case one working rule it is saying that this is the area okay this is the area and how can i write this formula 0 0.5 minus area of z1 how can i write it see this is the starting point i mean for the area there is no end point here right it is continuing it is continuing right so can i find this area no right so what i'm doing here i'm applying some logic what is the logic here i'm applying we know this right side probability is 0 0.5 right side total probability is 0 0.5 yes or no so from this total probability i'm eliminating this area from 0 to z1 see that's what i written here 0 0.5 minus area of z1 then i will get this shaded region area is it okay right now if z value is less than 0 if z value is less than 0 then your point will be here so from here to here is the area then what is the formula for this 0 0.5 plus area of z1 0 0.5 plus 
area of the equation which means this total probability we know as 0 0.5 so to this 0 0.5 i am adding this extra area then i will get this entire area length okay so that's why your formula become 0 0.5 plus area of z1 okay right now we'll see the case number two if z1 less than or equal to zero then your formula is 0 0.5 minus area of z1 okay so z1 is less than zero means can i say my point is here z1 point is here yes okay and here in the question given you the less than symbol so area towards left side area towards left side so which of area i had to find so if you observe this diagram there is a starting line z1 is here but there is no end point i mean there is no end for this area <coughs> so what i'm going to do here again here also i'm applying logic what is the logic from this total probability 0 0.5 eliminating this unwanted area okay eliminating this unwanted area that's what i written here 0 0.5 minus area of z1 okay i hope everyone is clear for this working rule of no normal distribution anyway i'm explaining you very briefly in the sums okay right and moreover this is the standard table for the normal distribution.